Well, today as you see the toolbox. Welcome to Daniel's Toolbox. <laughs> I found this actually. It's a walking tool bag. Pretty cool. Anyway, here's this Saturn right here. Oh, junk it, King! <laughs> uh, hey, I've been watching this one channel. It's called Uncle Brian. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he just sit down commentary. He, he's an all right guy. Anyway, somebody, not me, commented on his channel about, I don't know, something about politics. Probably supporting one, one side or another, and he does not want that on his channel. He's like, I finally deleted somebody. <laughs> Their comment. Look at that wheel right there. Drive it till the wheels fall off. <laughs> well, anyway, he's commenting about... Uh, usually he's got commentary about Java. I think that's the channel called Rich220 or whatever, I believe. And uh, Berryland. The dude in Ohio with 86 rusty wagons. You should talk, King. Look at your car. That's fit for Barry Land, I'd say, right? Weeds growing around it. <laughs> Rust beyond the frame. Actually, this kind of Dodge van does not have a frame. It's a unibody, crummy construction. So anyway, he's commenting on how a lot of these YouTube channels with cars and claim that they're car guys, which they are. I'll even say that Larry Streamer with 86 wagons, <laughs> he's a car guy. I mean, <laughs> uh, I guess most of these channels just make fools out of themselves. But then I'm like, hey, wait a minute, Uncle Brian. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on a second. If you have a family, I think it's unfair to the family to, if you have a car hobby, to take tens of thousands and thousands of dollars, possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars, unless Unless you have an income that can support that and dump all that currency into your hobby. You could still be a car guy, but then you basically have to be in rusty wagons. Unless you live in the south or something like that. Lucky enough. Lucky you. I just noticed how rusty the Saturn is. The supposedly plastic car. Uh, it's, it's not too far gone. I see way back there, that brake cable. Let's uh, zoom in on that. It has, it's become kind of a Bluetooth brake cable. <laughs> Due mostly to the rust, but that's for the emergency brake, which after about three years, if you don't oil and maintain your emergency brake, the cable usually rusts out to the point where it's unusable. Oh, I can see on the driver's side the same thing has happened. Hmm. Well, anyway... The landlord confiscated this vehicle from another renter on the property that did not, he did not pay for this vehicle. He promised and he didn't pay for it. But the way he went about collecting it, he used a forklift to grab it and drag it over here. And in doing so, he damaged looks like the fuel lines are well I do notice that it dumps fuel when you fire it up 
It's got a massive gasoline leak. And it's a 2007 Saturn, so <clears throat> you can't really just get away with using a rubber line and clamping it on, doing all that. That's just not going to roll. Oh, yeah, I can see the, the Univati frame has a small dent in it. Nothing too big. Uh, King, didn't you inspect this before? Uh, yeah. But it wasn't like this. And I can't get my money back. Also, this is for my daughter. And she got to pay me for this stupid thing. And I'm not going to let her drive it until it's fit for a queen. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to have this towed over to my buddy's shop. Actually, King, don't you have any jack stands? You know how many YouTuber guys like forget to put the jack stands under the car? I'm back digging around in Daniel's toolbox. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Anyway. Let's see if this socket fits. It does kind of. It's a little loose. It's 11 16 Nope. Yep. These are the plastic hub cappy ones. That one's on there a little tight. Usually don't need a, a wrench of any kind. Okay, that one's tight. That one's tight. Of course, it's probably in the metrics. But I just don't know what size. What's the metric equivalent of 11 sixteenths? I think that's 11 sixteenths. Oh, 13 sixteenths. Okay. I'm not a mechanic. Although I do mechanical type things sometimes. This one's closer to. Just test on. Nope. Dang. You know me, nothing is organized. 18 millimeter. Looks looks just a little bit too small. This is probably a 19 or a 20. After all these years, we still don't do metrics really in the good old USA even though we do but we don't 22 is too way too large so I'm claiming it's probably a 19 that's a 21 I'm not watching this channel this guy that doesn't know what he's doing go through a bunch of metric tools well 21 is too uh, too big 17 is too small. Another 21. Another 13 sixteenths. I don't even know what size this is. It's not even stamped on here. Pittsburgh. Oh, it's really worn down. 22 millimeter. That tool has been used. Let's really, you know what, being disorganized, not taking the time to organize, really slows you down. No talking. Duh. I don't even know what size this one is.
We can't see it. Okay, well, it says 19 on here. And that's the size we need, I guess. Although it's not an impact. It's a Craftsman. They're on there too tight. They're on there too tight to uh, twist by hand. Is that a vulnerable 10 millimeter? Absolutely, you know it. That's going in the pocket. Okay, so I'm looking for a 10 millimeter. There's a guy by the name of Larry that sent me a bunch of 10 millimeters. That's one of them. Remind me that a 10 millimeter is in that pocket in this toolbox bag. I keep walking into Yeah, I kind of like pre-loosened them, I guess. Uh, just for the YouTube video. People don't really like to struggle. Don't really feel like losing these. That usually creates a little bit of a dilemma. This tire definitely shows signs of dry rot along the treaded area. <clears throat> oh, joy. Look at that. What the heck could be going on there? I know in its current condition is basically undrivable. I guess that's the bearing, huh? The bearing, is that gone? Wow. Tremendous. I don't have it on jack stand, so I gotta hope that when I turn the steering wheel, it doesn't fall off that and do some damage. <clears throat> you know how the YouTube community is all about the All about the jack stands. Yeah, you you practically get yourself wiped out on YouTube if you make videos of a car. repair and you're using a hydraulic jack you better have jack stands under the car or are you going to get annihilated in the comment section that gets really tight like that 
I mean, uh, looks like we got mouse footprints and a couple of mouse droppings. I don't know what size. What size could that be for the caliber? Yeah, probably half inch or 13 millimeter. This is a half inch 12 point, which is not good to use on six sided. That's most definitely a 13 or 14 millimeter. You cannot get a half inch on it whatsoever. That's not good to have in the bag. Nine. Oh, that wood grain's out of focus. Hey. Anyway, there we go. Um, more videos to come. I ran into a snafu. I need like a 33 millimeter socket to uh, remove the axle nut. And uh, if I have to, I'm going to have to take that spindle off of there and have the... Uh, I have the bearing uh, pressed in, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Unless you want to see a different kind of video and don't want to see that kind of repair. What do you want to see?